Hey everyone, Joshua here with World Build. In this video, we'll be following up on our previous Real World City tutorial and diving into how we can create our own customizer. When we use the default customizer, the resulting roads and buildings are just using simple styles from the sample kit. Let's go ahead and create one that uses some more realistic styles from the modern city kit. We'll start by copying the sample customizer, and I'll call this one BP underscore tutorial customizer. When we open this up, we'll see the script for generating both roads and buildings. We'll start out by customizing our building with a simple tag check. We can check what tags we have available by using query features on the OpenStreetMap website. Here, we can see that we have the amenity parking tag, so let's use this to check if our buildings are parking garages. We'll use the select node to switch between styles. And let's find an amenity tag equal to parking. If it's true, we'll use a parking garage building style. If not, let's just grab a random style. And that's it. Let's test our new customizer. If we check our assigned building styles now, we'll see that it correctly assigned a random style to any building not tagged as parking. Let's take a look at roads. You can see here that we first spawn the road, then we assign a street style, add road modules, and finally we set the road's spline points. So all we need to look at is which road preset is being assigned here. Let's copy the example preset to our own folder. I'll save two of these new road presets. This road preset just includes the default materials and props. We'll grab the actual parameters from the Modern City Kit itself for this one. This section is where we store all the road presets that are available in the Modern City Kit. We'll copy over the two lane preset for the first asset. You can right click on the array entry to copy the entire preset over. This will give us the same street style and sidewalk modules. We'll get rid of the bridge modules since we'll only be working at ground level. Let's grab a four lane preset for the other asset. Now we can head back into our customizer and use these new presets. For the narrower road types, I use the two lane preset, and for the wider road types, I use the four lane preset. Great, now let's go ahead and generate the roads as well. Mm -hmm. 
When we generate our roads, you'll notice that we haven't yet set a preset for intersections. In some cases, we'll want to globally assign intersections preset, but for now, we can just do it manually. We'll use the select tool to get all intersections in the world, then clear out the road modules. Now we'll add modern city kit sidewalk modules on all of them. Now let's assign a material to all the meshes. We'll go to the details panel and find the intersection ground material parameter. And we're done. We now have a customizer that assigns styles right from the modern city kit. Check out the link in the description for more information and for more complex examples.